Hey folks, it's Nick over at the Outdoor Theory, and we just want to do a real quick review on the Mora Filet Knife. Uh, I've had this knife for about two years, absolutely love it. We're going to go over the specs real quick, hope you enjoy. So first thing when you purchase this knife that I like is this vented sheath. Uh, obviously it's going to keep you safe from the blade, but you know, it's a filet knife you're going to be using in a wet environment. It allows the, the water and the moisture to drain out of the sheath. Um, it has a little clip in the bottom here, and you depress that clip and you slide the knife out. Now this knife is made from stainless steel, and to give you the size, it's about I would say that the blade itself, if I can get it on there, it's about six inches long, with the overall length about ten and a half inches long. One thing I really like about this knife and hopefully you can see it, is the shape of the tip on this knife. It's got a little relief on the top there, and I find it does a great piercing in when you're starting to do your fillet. Important feature of a fillet knife is also the flex of the blade. Now, traditionally I always liked a very soft flexing blade. I would say this is about a medium flexing blade. If I give it a little bit of pressure on the side, it has some nice flex to it. I'll give you a better view on that. But it's not too soft. Um, I think that makes this knife very versatile. It's perfect, perfect, perfect uh, for filleting crappie, for laying perch, catfish, walleye. I use it for all those purposes. Um, but also, if I'm butchering a deer, uh, I can use this in lieu of a boning knife, and I find that it does a great job for you know uh, trimming up some of my uh, steaks when I'm field, uh, when I'm butchering a deer. Another nice feature to this knife is the handle. It's got this rubberized grip to it, so when I have my hand on this knife, I mean, it's not going anywhere, even wet. So, like, it's this rubberized grip doesn't get slippery when the knife is wet. And you can see in the shape of the bottom here, it fits contours to my hand very nicely. So if you have an opportunity to pick one of these up, I absolutely highly recommend it. They do make this knife in a smaller version. But I particularly like this size. I think it's just large enough to handle some larger fish, like a walleye, um, but perfect for panfish. So if you're looking for a good quality fillet knife, pick one of these up, the Mora Fillet Knife.